Hi, this is Trey Cruz talking about the Starberry video that we um, that I just watched. Um, so my initial thoughts, um, very interesting. I actually, I never knew about this. I'm kind of a sneakerhead myself and I never knew about the Starberries and them costing $14.98, which is just unreal because every single pair of basketball shoes is usually about $150 plus. Um, especially, especially the mainstream basketball players like uh, Marbury was obviously a big name for a big market in the Knicks and uh, made a lot of money. So it kind of scratches your head um, a little bit just to think that his shoes costed fourteen ninety eight and that they were good shoes. Um, and not only that, just the fact that to manufacture these shoes costed less than fourteen ninety eight. That is just uh, it's hard to believe almost. Um, and I, I honestly do believe that he actually wore this shoe. Um, I, th I think he, I think he had good intentions behind it, especially just like you know, he was saying it's for the kids. I think it is for the kids because growing up, especially a lot of basketball players and and bad neighborhoods and stuff, it's it's you know, it's hard to afford a shoe like that. Um, that most that most NBA players have, like you know, most of their shoes are two hundred plus dollars, and to come up with two hundred dollars, I think like Stephen Murray said, is like that's like groceries for the month. So it's obviously it's it's not it's not cheap it's expensive and to see him be wearing these in a, an NBA game kind of changes the game it changed the game a little bit um, as far as how people view shoes and how the fact that you know that they try to interview Nike and Adidas and Reebok about the pricing of their shoes and they declined it, it makes a little makes it a little fishy on their end making it seem like maybe they're way overpricing their shoes because clearly. Um, this shoe, um, the Starberries, are tested by a great NBA player, and they work, and they work on the court, they work um, at a high level. So, so to see that, um, for a kid who's grown up playing basketball, and especially for the parents who are paying for everything, to see a shoe that's fourteen ninety eight that can do just as much as a Nike shoe that's $200, like, there's just no hesitation you're going to buy it. Obviously, there's like you're not gonna feel as confident at first because it's almost like this shoe has to be cheaply made or doesn't have good support, something like that. But clearly, it did, and um, a lot of kids wanted it. Um, I mean, in my opinion, like as far as keeping the price at fourteen ninety eight, um, I, I personally would have raised it at least to fifty dollars because you know that, that's fifty dollar shoe is still extremely cheap. Um, and affordable for a lot of people, but um, clearly I think he tried to make it as low as possible. That's why I think he was more for the kids than anything. Um, to for so making it fourteen ninety eight, like that's I don't I'm not sure how much how much money um, and revenue they bring it they could bring in because that shoe is so cheap. Um, but clearly they brought in enough to where it made a difference and that people were willing to to buy in with the shoe. Um, as far as the LeBron James um, line of basketball shoes, obviously those are very expensive. You're looking at two hundred and fifty dollars, more or less, uh, for for his shoes. Uh, and the and the more shoes he comes out with, the more expensive they get, uh, because the demand is higher. Um, you know, the the status of LeBron James, in my opinion, is is much bigger than what Stephen Marbury's status was. Obviously, uh, now LeBron James is obviously in a huge market in L.A. Uh, with the Lakers, probably the arguably the biggest NBA market. Um, so obviously a lot of people look up to him. A lot of people pay attention to him. He's obviously nat he's nationally known for being the best NBA player on the planet. Um, so why, why isn't a kid going to want to wear what he wears or have what he has um, to the best of their ability? So like it, it, it makes sense for someone like LeBron James and Nike to charge a lot, even though I personally don't think they need to charge 260, but the same time, like the only the only part of the shoe that makes it two hundred and sixty dollars is the name behind it. Um, it's not really as far as like what the shoe can do. Like the shoes, the shoe itself. If you took the name off of it, it's probably worth no more than a hundred dollars. But the fact that it's LeBron James shoe and it's what he wears, and he even has videos on social media of talking about it. Um, it 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 may, he's credible and it makes him he's a public icon um to people and it makes kids want to wear it um and and i don't blame him i mean my if, you know if i my favorite player in baseball um is was Derek jeter and he had this he had the whole swing man and and the the whole respect and brand and all that stuff and i i wanted to get everything he had the jordan brand 
uh, cleats that he had, the Jordan brand batting gloves he had. Like I thought. I thought they were cool. I thought they're super cool, and obviously they're a little bit more expensive. But but like when it's, when I put it on, um, I just you know I felt like I was Derek Jeter at one point, which is funny to think about now. But um, but yeah, I mean it. I just it's hard to believe, honestly. Um, it's crazy, and and if obviously I, I think Adidas is kind of starting to do that more. They've made their stuff way cheaper, especially compared to Nike. Their their shoes, cleats, both for baseball and soccer. Uh, basketball shoes, just casual shoes. Everything is just so they're so cheap, and they're and you know they're big on being light. So um, I think maybe I think Adidas is taking that step. I don't think Nike is really taking that step at all. They're they're pre- everything's pretty expensive, even clothing. It's unreal. Um, so I, either way, I, I thought this was I thought this was very interesting, good video. Um, definitely definitely something that'll that'll scratch some heads in some other companies and maybe have them sit back and think you know maybe maybe we can do better as far as the pricing maybe you can cut it like at least cut it by 30 percent or something like that so either way thank you very much and till next time